It's the cemeteries on the Gallipoli Peninsula that tell the true tale of the disaster of the Dardanelles. The graves are scattered across the peninsula. The headstones mark the last resting place of the Anzacs. Most carry the soldier's name, his rank, his regiment and the date of his death. Too many are inscribed only a soldier of the Great War and known only to God. 8,709 Australians died during the nine-month campaign. New Zealand deaths numbered 2,779. In 1924, work began on the huge cemetery on the Lone Pine feature, where Australia lost 2,277 casualties in a single day. At Chanuk Bear, the New Zealanders came within sight of the Dardanelles, the furthest Allied advance. The recovery of the lost soldiers remains there began in 1919. Many died from the friendly fire of British warships. The Gallipoli campaign cost the Ottoman Empire a quarter of a million soldiers. It's Turkey's dead and the fallen Anzacs who now lie together in the common ground of a land soldier and author Ian Idris labelled a bastard of a place. Now they shall grow not old, as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them. Lest we forget. Terry Galloway. Sky News.